Hey, Matt Russell here with another Photoshop tutorial. And today I wanna to show you how to make someone's face look like it's made out of rocks. All right, so many times I see designers take someone's face and they add a special effect like a rock, a scratch, a crack, it, pretty much anything, um, a lizard scale, something. And they put it over the top and they just change it to multiply or overlay or hard light or something like that. And it just doesn't look right. Like something's just off. You, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Well, today I really wanna show you how to use the liquify tool and lighting effects to make it look like it really is that person's face. So jumping in, I have a rock layer here. It's enormous because I love how high quality is and I wanna keep that. And I have this gentleman's face, which looks so epic and it'll look phenomenal if we add rocks over the top. So add a rock layer and the trick to this is moving it around and making it try to match up some of the natural lines of the rocks to match up to the natural lines on his face. Uh, something I know we're gonna run into is his nose because there's no, there's not really a harsh shadow right over here. So I, I want to kind of cheat the shadow and add uh, one of the rock textures to kind of match up with the line of his nose. Um, this looks actually, that looks like it might be pretty good. Let me see if I find anything else. Uh, spin it around, line up something kind of cool. Let's see, what do I got here? What do I got? Oh, okay, I like this crack right here. Right there. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna add this line and see how there's a natural line right there. Perfect, okay. Bump that up. Hmm, I don't know if I like that because the lips aren't gonna have any rock texture. So I'm gonna shrink this just a little bit. Okay, looking good. Hit enter, and then I'm gonna jump into the liquify uh, filter. One thing on my computer, it's not on everyone's, but for some reason my computer glitches out. On liquify, uh, I have to make my opacity zero before I open it. So if you're wondering why maybe your filter's not working, try changing your layer to zero opacity first. So selecting my layer, filter, and click liquify. And so it looks like we're already set up. Uh, if you're not seeing a background, click show backdrop, change it to your background behind. And this just uh, kind of shows you what you're working with here. So I'm gonna put it about right about there. And I'm gonna make my tool kind of a little bit bigger, just hold down a bracket. And I'm just gonna start pinching in the sides. The trick is you wanna bring them all in uniformly so that it, so it'll match the side of the face. So I'm just gonna keep pinching, keep pinching, make it a little bigger, keep pinching, keep pinching, keep moving it in, takes forever. All right, great, bring this side in. Forgot the top of his head. It's almost like you're wadding up a piece of paper very slowly and meticulously. Okay, so I'm getting pretty close to his face here. So what I'm gonna do is shrink our brush, zoom in, and my goal today is getting this to match up with the edge of his face. So let's see, I'm getting pretty close here. Don't forget with liquify, the more you move it, the more blurry and distorted it's gonna look. So I'm gonna try to just move it as little as possible. Um, you can also go into your settings and change them so you're not moving as much as fast. But I really just wanted to get this done for you guys and uh, get it done kind of quickly so you can see, uh, uh, almost. It's gonna drive me crazy, it's gonna drive me nuts on that one. Okay, bring this down to hit his chin, his chinny chin chin. Do you ever just talk to yourself while you're designing? Let me know in the comments below. Dun, 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 dun. 
OK, perfect. So we have the shape done. So go ahead and press OK. The outside's good. This is a good saving point. <laughs> uh, there is nothing worse than editing, editing a photo for 20 minutes, half hour, two hours, three hours, and not saving. Save it regularly, please, for the sake of your own sanity. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. Uh, control, control D, I set my, I redid my controls because I like having control D. Uh, I'm going to go back in. So I saved it off. So I have one complete where it matches his face really well. But I'm going to go back into Liquify because I want to show you something. It's kind of like a pro tip here. Liquify, I'm going to zoom in. And our goal is, see the edges, the cracks on his face? I want to take the liquify tool and try to pinch the rock up to those cracks. You know, kind of look like it's um, the rock is enveloping into the crack, and it it really it adds a little bit of subtlety that's just fantastic. So pinching it, pinching it, pinching it. There we go. Do top and bottom. Bam. Okay. This is going to look so good. I am so stoked to do this tutorial. Bring the lips down. And again, the more time you spend on this, the better it's going to look. I'm just kind of rushing through here. Pinching his lips. Pinch, 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 pinch. There we go. All right. Uh, I think his nose is going to come up pretty good. Um, let's move this white rock just to the bridge of his nose. Did I do his eyeball yet? I don't think so. OK. Let's bring this in around his eye, pinch it in. There we go. Yes. And then I'm going to go inside here and then pull it out. Because we're going to go ahead and delete out the middle where his eye is. Because who has a rock eye? I mean, come on. You can have rock skin. I think I saw it on a Grey's Anatomy episode, but I'm not quite sure. OK, uh, zoom out. I think I got everything. I got this line, the nose, the lips, the eye. I think that's good enough for now. You get the point. Press OK. Bring the opacity up. What a lovely image. <laughs> Go ahead and right over here where it says normal, click that. And I know it's underneath my video, but go ahead and click multiply. And that looks horrendous. <laughs> so what we need to do is change the lighting, obviously, here. I'm going to go ahead and down here, add curves, add hue saturation. Let's go ahead and mess with the hue saturation first and create a clip, clipping mask on both of these so it only affects the rocks. And let's do colorize and bring the saturation down. Bring this over to almost looks like a purplish tint, maybe a little blue. Bring the lightness to right about there. Now let's go over to the curves layer and take this top and bring it over. Oh, see how it just completely altered the lighting? And see how the liquify looks like it wraps around his face? It, fantastic. OK, exit out of that. Now let's go in here, take care of his eye. Hold down space bar to drag the image over. Click on a rock layer, add a layer mask, and let's go ahead and just brush out this eyeball right now. It's going to look so stunning. Look at that. This is such a great photo. OK, oh my goodness. Doesn't it look fantastic? Here's my before and here's my after. Thanks for joining me today and please hit subscribe, like, and comment below. If you have any other ideas, concepts, or you just want to show off something that you tried, please tag the image below. I love to check it out. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.